Okay, so what we have here is dollar store epoxy times two. Fast version video. This is rated at 1900 PSI. We have a 5 8 inch rod, a 5 8 inch hole that gave it about 1 16th clearance. I know that sounds a little odd to say, but the drill bit gives it about a, is about a uh, almost an eighth large. There's a nut on top of it, and you're going to see the stress on it. So we're already at um, right about 1800 right there. It's still in place. We're going to set it, let it stay just there for a moment. We're going to dial it up a bit. Now I've got a lot of epoxy on it, and we're at crossing 2000. Okay, so this is rated for 1900. It might go to 21. So I'll just let you, I'll let you look at the gauge, but I'll, I mean, I'll call it the gauge. You look at the failure. I'll tell you when I think it might be failing. I'm at 2200. I don't feel is it failing yet. I can usually sense it in the in the uh, feedback I get when I rotate and dial. I'm at 2400 PSI. And again, this is two tubes of 1900, P 1900 PSI epoxy, but remember surface area counts. And at 2400, we're going to let this, um, I, I, we're gonna, let me just pull on it a bit for a second. So what I do is take the handle. I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and see how much it relaxes back, if any at all. So I'm gonna pause the video. And get right back to you. Okay, about 10 minutes have gone by and it's relaxed back about 50 um, pound force. Let's go ahead and go up on it. Okay. Whoa, that's sweet. And I don't feel it doing any. Let me see if I can get you both of them at the same video at the same time. Where I got to read past the camera. I'll read this off to you. You can keep an eye on either one and play, replay it. We're at 28, 3,000. Remember the surface area, the pound force, and 32. About 34, a little bit over 34. <clears throat> so let's just watch it for a moment. I'm going to tap on that. Pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive, isn't it? 34. We're going to take this to failure, so let me get you so you can observe it two ways. We're at 36. Crossing 4,000 in a moment. We're at 4K. 4,000. 4,000. All right. A lot of surface area, isn't it? 42. 44. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, see if you can watch the failure now. We should be getting close. Wow, that's beautiful. And we're up there 46, 42, 44, 46. And remember, this is 1900 PSI epoxy. This is oversat overnight, and that was it. We're at 48. I'm watching the gauge, so I'll tell you when it fails. You can watch it, how it fails. We should be failing pretty soon. We're at 5,000. I want it to slide out. I don't want it to put, burst the con tear the concrete. It's dropping back pretty fast, relaxing. So I think we're there. It should be possibly sliding out. We're at 551, and I can let you watch. There it goes. It just spit. It just burst of concrete and dropped down to, <clears throat> you heard it in the background, and it dropped down to, uh, it's still dropping. So this was too much, and that was only two inches deep, but it was too much. It broke the concrete, which I'd rather slide out and not break the concrete. So you can see what happened here as I pull it away. Let me hold that like that a bit. Get the way, put that there. Let me pause it and pull this uh, stand, this break, this uh, tool away. It's more expensive than that, that little nut. Okay, so around 5,000, we got our failure. This is an indicator. This is a two-inch mark here, and two inches are there. And two inches was below. You can see how, and that's the hole. There's the cone, the shape of the cone. I always tell you guys about the forces are in a cone shape. 
You can see the matrix of the concrete, how it held together, which is nice. Interesting, I left this part of epoxy on this side. This side, I cleaned it off. And this is the side that has the uh, least amount of uh, coming up with the epoxy. I was wondering if it would bridge, or bridge across and do more. That's part of the cone and the fracture. Sorry. So, there's the hole. And the pox, some poxy on the on the wall, I believe. Maybe not, maybe a little bit pushed down there, but this is only one night. Um, yeah, so this is two inches, two inches, that's two inches, and here's two inches. So there's two inches below. So you can see about one inch. Um, was a little bit of an anchor, and then this cone, the rest of the resistance was the matrix, the top matrix of the concrete that held it from coming apart for some time. But we made it to uh, 5000 And that was with $2.50 worth of plus taxes, worth of epoxy. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Now let's see what happens if we uh, hit it. It's just breaking apart the... There's where there was on the threads. <clears throat> so I, I, there's epoxy in there. I painted it in first. And... Yeah, it's breaking apart. A lot of stress on it. This side's held up is holding up the best. This side here. See this here's this stone. So I want you to think about that. There's stone the ones that I drilled through, and epoxy bonded around it, and that stone became an part of the anchor that was undermined the concrete. So it was under here, a piece of stone that got epoxy on it. And that's very interesting. It became part of, like I said, a part of the resistance, the pull-out resistance. I had to lift that stone up because it was bonded so well. It also would have to burst the rest of the concrete, giving us a higher um, pull-out rate. If this was all a softer mix without stone like that, it possibly would give us a, uh, a lower pull-out rate, a lower resistance. All right, this is the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Show please surprising to you. And lightning, again, $2.50 worth of dollar store epoxy rated at 1900 and we've got over 5000 what, 51 I'd call it 59, 59 4900 5000 it started fluctuating. The failure was happening. Okay, so do with this what you might, what you may, um, with your own extrapolations. Remember each matrix, though. It's going to respond differently. That's why you want to test each uh, each area. Each area is going to be a little different. But I was hoping this would slide out because I only put two inches in. That was not to be. So it would need um, maybe another test done, maybe an inch and a half, so we can get this to slide out and fail at a lower PSI. Frankly, the 5,000 is uh, it's too much, but working load about 1,200... 1200 uh, Instead of 12, not 1250, I would go 1200 working load on this two inches deep with a matrix that has a uh, stone makeup, makeup like this. And this is about 3500 psi concrete as tested with the uh, impact camera.